All right, guys, so let's look at this question which asks you to explain why sulfur has a higher melting point compared to sodium thiosulfate. So the first thing you need to recognize, right, is sodium thiosulfate, right? This compound is actually ionic. Okay, and if this compound is ionic, right, you certainly don't expect the melting point to be 47 or uh, 49 degrees Celsius. You expect it to be much higher. But we're going to accept the data as it is. Uh, this is what the question wants us to explain. Uh, the next one, if you're looking at sulfur, right? Sulfur S8, this is a simple covalent. This is a simple covalent molecule. Okay, so definitely you expect it to be a low melting point as is shown here. So how are we going to make sense of this? Why is the ionic compound having a lower melting point compared to a simple covalent. Okay, so in this question, you definitely have to address the data point, the observation that's given to you. You don't have to argue against it. In fact, you shouldn't. You should just explain it as the data as facts. Okay, so first thing we're going to address, we're going to describe both the structure and the bonding. So thiosulfate has a giant ionic lattice structure and sulfur has a simple covalent structure and IDID because it's non-polar, right? So explaining the two structure and bonding will take up two marks. And then the last mark, right, is just to explain why the sulfur have a higher melting point. Okay, so this last point, large number of electron leads it to strong IDID interaction which require more energy to overcome compared to the ionic bonds in thiosulfate okay so therefore it has a higher melting point notice uh, this question right actually goes against what we know to be generally true for ionic compound but we're not going to argue against uh, data we're not going to argue against that. We're just going to take note of this data and just explain it as if it was a fact. Okay, generally, we know that ionic bonds are stronger, but not in this case. Okay, since the data already told us sulfur has a higher melting point, we will then proceed to describe it as it though it is a fact. All right, so take note of this uh, style of question where what you think is true uh, it isn't true in a certain example in a certain context 